Wire with Alfredas. All right, Alfredas. Okay, make sure you're following us at Res Par Show and at Georgia Alfredas. So, Kathy Griffin, you know, she's a 59-year-old comedian, revealed on Twitter yesterday that she had been sent to a COVID-19 isolation ward in a major hospital ER after visiting an urgent care facility, right? So mm-hmm. she shared a picture of herself laying in a hospital bed, wearing a mask, although it's not clear, you know, when that photo was taken, despite experiencing symptoms consistent with the coronavirus, she said her attempts to get tested have still been unsuccessful. She wrote, quote, the hospital couldn't test me for coronavirus because of CDC uh, restrictions. And she cited the vice president. She added him on that. So, yeah, they're, they're not testing everybody. I had a friend who just went through that yesterday. And they said, we know you have every symptom and you're identical to people that we have tested, but they just don't have the test. They don't have all the ingredients to make a complete test. We dropped the ball. We waited too long. When we were told we can give you tests, we denied them. So now they have to pick and choose who gets the test. And it's unfortunate. It's based on how sick you are, how many symptoms you're having or economics or celebrity you know, uh, you heard my rant. But listen, at the end of the day, they don't have the test. And these doctors are trying to cover themselves. And they're upset, too. Yeah. Um, well, celebs are doing what they can to help. 22-year-old billionaire Kylie Jenner has donated a million bucks for masks, face for shields, her. other protection gear uh, for first responders and medical workers. Michael Jackson's estate announced that it's going to be given $100,000 each to Broadway Cares, Three Square Food Bank, and Music Cares. Those donations not only are going to assist the hundreds of employees in New York who are out of work, but it's also going to provide hundreds of thousands of meals to those in need in Nevada. Angelina Jolie's donated a million bucks to No Kid Hungry. That's an organization that helps communities feed kids who rely on school lunches for their meals. 22 million kids not getting lunch right now. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift is personally helping out fans who have been affected. She actually sent... You, well, let's just talk about this one fan. She sent him $3,000 after this fan reached out to her on Tumblr saying she was worried about continuing to live in New York City due to lack of work. So Taylor was like, look, let me let me just hit you off with this. You know, that's it's going to she's going to have to give everybody's now everybody's going to come to her. And we're something. all coming together. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's looking right. That's, out, looking out that's what other. this was by design. We're coming together despite yeah. our government failing us. Right. Yeah. Well, Jesse Smollett tried to give fans some healing when he made his return to Instagram to flex his singing chops yesterday. Um, also, oh my gosh, Chloe and Hallie, uh, did you see their impromptu uh, Instagram stories? They did like this impromptu concert, uh, of course, for the Who organization. It was beautiful. Those girls can sing. One of those girls is the one, of course, who is going to be uh, play the Little Mermaid in the new Disney show mm. whenever it starts back production. Uh, Hallmark knows how to make self-isolation just a little bit more bearable. They announced that they are having another weekend of Christmas Christmas movie marathon. Awesome. All right. You want more stuff, go to the restaurantmorningshow.com. I'm Alfredas, and that's hot off the wire.